Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to introduce uh, the concept of the Pythagorean Theorem as it applies to rectangular solids and pyramids. So we're going to be working here in three-dimensional figures. So a rectangular solid is something like uh, a shoebox or any kind of, really any kind of box um, that you might have to hold something. So I have here, I have my my county stadium brick that's held in a rectangular solid. I mean, we can look at the brick as a rectangular solid, okay? Um, but I can't get inside the brick. But our brick here has got its six faces, okay? Each side of the brick is a face. And then where two of the faces come together are the edges, okay? So it's got the 12 edges wherever the faces come together, create an edge. And inside of our rectangular solid, um, kind of tough to see because this is clear, but I can get inside of here. And we have diagonals, and diagonals will go from like the upper corner on one side and cut all the way across into the lower corner on the other side. So a diagonal might be like this pencil going from the top corner on one side to a lower corner on the other. Okay, So you've got your diagonals that cut through our figure here. Okay, so those are going to be our four diagonals. Hopefully you can see those. And then the pyramid um, in our diagram below, a little bit different, our pyramid, okay, our pyramid has a base, a bottom, so our base would be, um, you know, J-K-O-M here. J-K-M-O is our base or our bottom. Okay, we're going to refer to it as the base. Okay, one base. And the vertex is going to be up here at point P. Our vertex is at point P. Here we go, point P. And it's the intersection of all of our triangular faces. So all the faces here, what we normally see on a pyramid, uh, those triangles are going to be our faces. And the altitude, okay, the altitude is going to be PR. The altitude of the pyramid extends like a fire pole from the vertex, from our vertex, down, okay, to the center. So PR is our altitude, and then our slant height is PS. That is the altitude of one of the faces, okay? Um, or in this case, it's one of the faces. So PS is our slant height. That's the, the height or the altitude along the outside. And then, of course, PK and PJ and PO, those are all edges of our pyramid. So we're going to use the Pythagorean Theorem in 3D, and you can see here we've got a couple different right triangles. We've got a right triangle PRS that's standing upright in our pyramid, but we also have a right triangle PSK and PSM, which is on the face of our pyramid. Now these two triangles on the face of our pyramid, created by the slant height, these are two congruent triangles because the way our pyramid is, since this is a regular square pyramid, PK and PM are the same. So these two triangles are congruent by, you know, take your pick. I'd probably use HL would be the easiest one. So we're going to be doing a lot of solve type questions here. So if we have this regular square pyramid, Okay, so that's one of the key words here, that this pyramid is square with an altitude PR, so there's our altitude, and a slant height PS. The perimeter of JKMO is 40, which means each side is 10 because it's a square. Well, we know our altitude PR comes down and meets right in the center, don't we? So if it does that, that means RS is 5. In fact, KS is 5, and SM is also 5, because the altitude of an isosceles triangle 
is also a median, so it splits that into two equal parts. If PK, our edge here, is 13, which is given to us, then we have a right triangle, A5, 12, 13, but out on the face, okay? The 12 here is the slant height. So PS is 12, our slant height is 12. So we've already answered a bunch of our questions. We want to calculate JK, that was 10. We want to calculate PS, well PS is our slant height, that is 12 from a 5, 12, 13. And then finally we want to calculate PR. So just redrawing that if we have P, S, R, the right triangle, that's 5. Our hypotenuse is 12, so the temptation is to say that's a 5, 12, 13. But unfortunately, it is not. This is the leg. There's no way the leg can be 13. It can't be longer than our hypotenuse. So we have to do our plain old Pythagorean theorem that P, R squared plus 5 squared is going to have to equal 12 squared. So subtract my 5 squared from both sides. I get PR squared equals 144 minus 25. So PR squared equals 119. I'm solving for a length. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And I get plain old PR equals plus or minus the square root of 119, but I only have to worry about the positive side. So that is our final answer, PR. That's an example of what we'll be doing in the Pythagorean theorem with space figures. I gave you an example with pyramid. We'll be doing other ones with rectangular solids as well, and we'll work on that more when I see you in class.